Hello, what's going on? I'm doing working on this hammer mill and my, my uh, what have I already done? I think you know I was talking about these pieces of plate. I've already cut this out. Um, this one will be the front cover plate. I'm not quite sure what's going to happen with it yet, so I'm just going to leave it for now. Um, but we're going to work on the box. I've got that cut out, so that thing will slot in there. Um, now I need to, my cut out though, I want to just cut off, that's what I just cut out of there. I just want to cut this off of here real quick. So. Not the cleanest of tips. Do you know? Not the best of cuts either. As long as it don't fall on a board, we'll be alright. Right, we'll clean that up with the grinder. Hmm, not the best, but not do. Alright, oh gosh, we'll get this camera back down there. Oh jeez. So, I'll cut that out. We'll cut this out. That'll go like this, right there. It's not the prettiest of cuts, but it'll do what I'm doing. I'm messing around, spending hours on this. Um, this is going to slot in here like that. Left plenty of room, so we ain't going to have to fight it or anything. And then, this is going on here like this. So, oh, that looks alright, doesn't it? Um... So this is essentially what we're looking at now, is the inside of the box. Okay. So that's phase one done. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put some tabs, see where my thumb is, a couple of tabs or run a piece of plate along each side of this so that if there's any pressure on the inside of this, it can't push this out. And then I'll just hold it in place with, um, we'll just hold it in place with a couple of bolts. Right, so that's that. What else we got going? Oh, sorry about that. Um, this thing, I've had second thoughts on this now as well. Because I was just a bit worried that one blade, one blade was not going to give me enough cutting action. You know, because those, it ain't very wide that blade. And it's got to hit these, you know. I don't know whether there'll be a ton of material in there or what. I just don't know how it's going to work, but I just think one blade's not enough. And if we have that thing flying around, we might as well have another blade on there, because it won't be too difficult to put another blade on there. And we'll double our cutting capacity straight away, won't we? Um, smashing capacity. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is, I said before, this don't work here, but this will just fit underneath there. This this section here spins with this so yeah that will just fit oh, goodness me come on yeah there's several ways of doing it but what I'm gonna do <laughs> cut to the chase I'm just gonna elongate this bolt hole just a little bit with the torch and um, yeah make that bolt hole just a little bit longer this way I don't want to go too far otherwise we won't have enough meat right here to stop the thing pulling out but we could should be able to get to there and then I should be able to get a nut and a bolt right the way through there. What I've had to go ahead and do, right, this is initially we was just gonna sit on this piece of plate. I've got these holes drilled, got that center circle cut out, and I was just gonna what I was gonna do is I was just gonna use a nut. Find a nut now, Dan. I was just gonna weld a nut on as a spacer and let this thing let this thing sit on top of that nut. Um, the whole point of that, the whole reason is I got these, it's got these little spots here, which I could have just ground them out and had this sit flat up against the back of the box, but the box would have then been, you know, three inches wide, which I didn't want. Because I got some two inch flat stock out there to make the edges of the box. So two inches sounded like a good idea to me. And 
not weakening this thing anymore also sounded like a good idea to me because it's just made of aluminum so I didn't really want to compromise it too much so because it's made of aluminum as well is the next reason why I'm doing this so instead of just sitting it atop those nuts you know having four nuts here and just sitting it on top of those nuts and having a you know basically an airspace between there that's gone what I've decided instead is I'm gonna shim it out about three eighths of an inch using two this is the same 3 sixteenths plate so I cut a couple of flanges and I had to cut them in half to get them to go they wouldn't just go over this so they've had to be cut in half anyway which helps with aligning the holes a little bit because of course I'm not perfect at drilling holes but anyway that's gonna sit on there like that which will also hold this piece in place I'm gonna put, still put a couple of um, pieces of plate on the inside of here just to block these gaps off otherwise we'll have dust coming out of there um, yeah so I did one flange and then I've done the other flange and I cut them in half so I'm going the other way with the other flange so it'll sort of lock it in there a little bit like you'd lay bricks so that'll help lock that in there and stop it from um, you know wanting to flex this way or whatever and that will be inside there actually I could have just showed you that with it in there um, let's see oh god it's not easy holding a camera and talking and trying to look at what you're doing that's in there that'll just lift up that'll slide on in it actually won't slide right in with those little bits sticking up right now but once I get it up past them hopefully up past them enough I mean normally if I didn't need to have shimmed it out I would have just cut them bits off I would have just ground them bits off but that's gonna sit like that it's just gonna sit on there like that and there it is it's um we got it set that's what we've got and I've measured it already and it will fit within two inches two inches comes down to about here so top of my finger there somewhere so there'll be a little bit of room there uh, I think that'll be all right um, I have oh my word all right check this out I've elongated those holes not perfect but um, I think they'll be all right uh, well it's gotten colder it's gotten dark and I haven't got very far with this. I'd go and do some other bits and pieces, but let's let's go through what we've got done. Because um, it's looking like we're getting somewhere. Bolt the whole thing up. Um, it looks pretty solid, really. And this is what we've got done. Um, this is I just ground the top of that off a little bit. I was just sitting a bit proud because it is kind of just touching on the little gusty bits there, but ain't too bad anyway. I don't think it's going to leak too much dust through all that. I think that'll just plug up eventually. I got the bolts on. Those bolts are just missing there. It's the, what's the width? We have got the width. The width is hmm, depends. Let's look down at straight down. There's straight inch and seven eighths. So, so we should have enough room. There'll be an eighth of an inch inside there on the other side of them. That'll be a good safety feature. None of that would have come undone. It'll make a hell of a noise, I'm sure, if it did come undone. Um, anyway, that's it for tonight, today. I'm going to say ciao for now. All right, ciao. Bye. Bye. Bye.